app pala kasi the others daw didn't get it. Okay. Hi. Uh, there, there's a link to provide. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, we're live now. So we'll just wait for five minutes. Yeah. We shall just introduce you um, officially uh, before we start. Okay, I'll just read the I'll just read the Wikipedia introduction. Is that okay? Oh no 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 not that just regular lang. Uh, so press. I couldn't the... edit that in any way. <laughs> no, right. I didn't even know who put that up. Sorry. <laughs> All right, no worries. Hi, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Nakikita ko po yung mga nagla-login ngayon, tsaka nanonood. Hello, ayan.
Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. All right, so um, we'd like to introduce to you, we'd like to welcome everyone to Bounce Back Essentials uh, with Bounce Back Academy, uh, brought to you by Practical uh, Learning Company. So today's topic is manage your cash flow uh, with Excel worksheets. And we have no less than uh, Reese Fernandez Ruiz. She is the president and founding partner of Rags to Riches Incorporated. So if you're not familiar with Rags to Riches, it's a social enterprise, is that correct, Reese? Yes, that's right. Uh, helping the marginalized and vulnerable sectors in Ayatas, Quezon City, which is uh, really a good thing. So um, we'd like to welcome everybody. And uh, we have about, I think right now, almost a thousand viewers uh, all at the same time. So uh, with uh, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you Ruiz. Ruiz. All right. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Nado. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. At nandito kayong lahat ngayong napakainit na tanghali. Um, hope you're all doing well. And nakagaya ko, may electric pan kayo sa harap. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na na windblown yung aking buhok today. Um, but yes, I hope you are healthy and doing well wherever you are. So, kagaya nga po nang nasabi, uh, my name is Reese Fernandez Ruiz and I am co-founder and president of Rags to Riches. So, it is a social enterprise. So, isa po siyang negosyo na ang layunin ay uh, makatulong sa mga artisans at makapag-partner sa mga artisans um, upang mapabuti ang buhay nating lahat. Um, so, yun po, um, 12 years na rin po namin ginagawa ito. Um, and I decided during this um, pandemic that uh, I want to also contribute to other entrepreneurs, other people around the Philippines um, to contribute a bit of the skills that I have learned along the way um, when we were still starting um, our company and now that uh, we are also trying to manage it through this pandemic. So, sana po kayong lahat ay okay at ready na matuto, um, ready to learn um, cash flow using spreadsheets. So, it does require you to have a little bit of knowledge um, in cash uh, in spreadsheets or Google Sheets, kung ano man yung ginagamit ninyo, or Excel. Um, if not, then I encourage you to learn um, right after this. Sana um, you could also do a bit of research so that you could learn how to make your own um, spreadsheets. It's I promise you, it is very, very useful. So let us start with the presentation. Okay, I hope you can all see my screen. Uh, just there. Okay, so we're starting with this, uh, with this sheet, a uh, daily cash flow planning using spreadsheets. Um, because what you don't know can hurt you. So it's true, no? It's true in in relationships, in money, in life that you what you don't know can hurt you means we like saying that what we don't know cannot hurt us but in this case it really absolutely can um and alam ko sometimes it's very um overwhelming to look at numbers and to um, uh to compute and to do math um, but during these days it's super critical to not be afraid of numbers and face them with bravery and make sure na okay yung cash flow ninyo. Um, before we start, I just have to say that I am also not an expert. I just have really painful experiences and that's why I have learned along the way. So natuto lang din ako dahil sa experience. Um, that's why also my tips and tools are more practical than technical. So hindi po ito magiging accounting 101 because that is going to take us um, more hours and maybe more days. Um, so this also does not replicate your accounting software. If ever some of you out there are entrepreneurs and you are using accounting software such as QuickBooks or Xero, um, hindi po ito ang papalit doon. Because your accounting software will tell you what happened. Um, so doon yun record lahat ng mga expenses ninyo, lahat ng kita ninyo. And when you generate reports, you will see what happened in your business. But this template will hopefully try to show you the future. 
And lastly, yes, you do need to learn how to work with spreadsheets. So I hope that you are pumped up and ready and excited to explore that and learn on your own um, because you do need to be familiar with spreadsheets as well. Yes. Okay. Okay, so what you learned today? Um, one is principles of daily cash planning. I tried to make it as simple as possible so that it's easy to understand and it's easy to remember. Um, second, spreadsheet basics, as in super, super basic, um, because you would have to do your own self-study if you want to learn more thoroughly. And for some of us who are fortunate enough to be able to work from home and we have resources like internet, um, we have a computer, uh, I really strongly encourage you to learn on your own. Um, you have time to learn during these days. Uh, the third is daily cash flow planning template. So I'm also going to share with you a template that I have been using that you can use on your own. And I'm also going to share our best practices. So first, principle of daily cash planning. First is, um, you could be profitable but have no cash. So ano ibig sabihin nun? Pwedeng um, sa isang negosyo, kapag nagnegosyo ka, pwedeng meron kang kita pero wala kang cash. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Um, ang ibig sabihin nun, for example, meron kang tindahan at marami kang benta, um, lahat ng benta mo, uh, imaminus mo dun yung expenses mo, makikita mo na, ay, kumita ako. Kasi your sales minus your expenses is equal to a little bit of profit. So masaya ka, di ba? Pero ang ang backstory naman dyan, karamihan ng mga uh, benta mo ay inutang sa'yo. So ang ibig sabihin nun? Um, meron kang ka kita, meron kang profit, pero wala kang cash. Kasi maraming may utang. So marami kang receivables mula sa mga umutang. So one principle of cash planning is don't just aim for profitability, aim for cash. So aim for collection, cash collection. Uh, second principle of daily cash planning is very simple. It's a very simple formula. Um, your beginning cash, so kung ano yung um, <clears throat> balance ng pera mo sa umpisa ng araw, plus your cash inflow for the day, so kung ano ang um, pumasok na pera sa iyo sa araw na yon, minus cash outflow for the day or yung mga gastusin mo for the day is equal to your ending cash position. Or, um, kung magkano yung matitira sa'yo pagkatapos ng isang araw. So, magandang tandaan, your ending cash today is your beginning cash position tomorrow. So, malinaw po ba so far? Ayan. Okay. Next. Principle number three. Consistency is better than perfection. So, project your daily cash position for as long as you can stretch it, but monitor every single day. So, makita ninyo kung anong ibig sabihin nito um, kapag pumunta na tayo sa ating format. So, what does this mean? What does consistency is better than perfection mean? So, ibig sabihin lang, uh, hindi kailangan na perfect lagi yung pagkakakompute mo. Pero ang importante, nagko-compute ka at araw-araw mo itong ginagawa. So, pwede mo makorek kung ano man yung mga mali na nagawa mo, pero nagagawa mo siya araw-araw. So, minsan kasi pag nagkamali ka na sa computation, baka ma-feel mo na, ay, ayoko na, um, nasira na yung computation ko. Hindi po yun. Okay lang yun. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you are consistent and you try again and again. And in cash planning, um, it really is a daily thing. So, for example, in our company, um, my cash projection is until Q1 of next year. So, ganun siya kahaba. Uh, I'll show you how we do it and also share with you the format. So, monitor ko siya every single day. So, it's still in number four. It's still a principle of daily cash planning. In every company, you have assets and liabilities. So, assets, ito yung pera mo, yung mga umutang sa'yo kasi you can still collect that as money. Um, your equipment, because you can make products out of your equipment, or you can sell your equipment and then get money, and other things that you can convert to money. 
And your liabilities are your loans and payables. Yung ikaw naman yung may utang sa iba. That's number four. So, ang, ang laging uh, goal dyan, convert assets to cash as quickly as possible. So, kung meron kang inventaryo, i-convert mo siya to cash as quickly as possible. Kung meron kang mga may utang sa'yo, gusto mo makolekta siya kaagad as quickly as possible. So, yung dami ng araw na yun dapat sobrang iksilang para makonvert yung iyong assets to cash. And pangalawa is negotiate payment terms for your liabilities. So, kung gaano kahaba yung kaya, pero syempre magbayad din tayo ng utang natin. Pero um, sa principles lang ng cash planning, ang gusto karamihan ng mga company, um, magka-cash ka agad at yung mga liabilities, mapatagal yung payment terms. Okay. So we'll go now to cash uh, basics, to spreadsheet basics rather. Um, okay. Hello po sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Uh, nakikita ko yung inyong mga messages pero hindi ako makahabol kasi ang bilis-bilis. Uh, pero maraming salamat for spending your afternoon with us. Uh, and also thank you to uh, Bounce Back PH for hosting this. Uh, this is my third uh, session actually. Um, so nakaka, may mga oras pa naman ako so far um, to do this for you. So I really hope um, it helps somehow. So okay, let's go to Spreadsheet Basics. Okay, you can see my screen, right? Ayan. Okay, so spreadsheet basics, ito. So, remember, this template um, will be available for you to download. Um, before I share with you the template, I want to also emphasize, and this is very important, friends, do not ask me for edit access for this sheet. So, hindi nyo po kailangan ng edit access, okay? Just go to file, like this, and then download and then download as Microsoft Excel so that you can use it on your own. Ano po yung mangyayari if you ask me for edit access for this sheet and bigla ko kayong um, accidentally nabigyan ng edit access? If I give you edit access and you edit this directly on this file, we will all see your cash flow planning. Lahat ng may link to this file will see it. So don't do that, okay? Um, you can file... Download Excel. Okay. So, <clears throat> just so you know what we are doing here, lahat ng mga yellow with blue font, lahat yan ay inputs. So, by inputs, I mean, yan yung mga kailangan mong ilagay na numbers or pangalan or kung ano man. And then, the ones with the black font, that's the one na result. So, result yan ang formula na gagamitin natin in a spreadsheet. So, let's now go to spreadsheet basics. So, ito yung um, parts of a spreadsheet. You have your columns. So, that's the A, B, C, D, and ang haba-haba pa niyan, mahaba yan talaga, um, those are your columns. And then your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and onwards, those are your rows. Okay? So, for example, you, and these boxes are cells. And what are the cell, what are the names of the cells? The name of the cell is according to the um, name of the column and name of the row. So, for example, itong cell na to, nakukulayan ko ng yellow, siya ay si cell J3 because it is in column J and row 3. Okay? So, hope that is clear so far. Um, we have a few basic formulas that we can use um, in for this uh, tutorial. One is how to add how to add numbers um, using spreadsheets. So, I'll do it uh, here sa taas, pero makikita nyo din yung instructions dito at meron pang example. Okay? So, for example, meron kang two numbers. Let's say 250 and 300. And how do you add those two values? So, every formula should start with an equal sign. And then you can select the cell that you want to add. Tapos you put the plus sign, and then you select the other cell that you want to add, and then enter. So, automatic na siyang magsasabi sa inyo na 550 
ang resulta ng 250 plus 300. Another way to do this is an equal sign and do sum, open parenthesis, select the first cell that you want to um, add, and then drag to the next cell or to the last cell that you want to add, and then close parenthesis, and then enter. So, yun po. Okay. Yan ang paraan kung paano mag-add ng mga numbers. Um, the way you subtract is also similar. So, for example, you have 500 and 250, and you want to subtract five, uh, 250 from 500, you just select 500 um, minus 250 and then enter. So, you just do the minus sign this time. Okay. Ay, okay, sorry, sorry. Nag, ano yata, na, dali ah, yung fan medyo i, to tone down ko lang konti because masyado siyang maingay. Hold on. Okay, I hope that's better. Ah, uh, okay. Narinig pa ba? Okay. 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 Sige. So that's so far how you add and how you subtract um, using Google Sheets or uh, Excel file or spreadsheets. And the next one is adding rows. So how do you add rows? It's simple actually. You just select the row and you select any row and then you left right click and then you insert one above or insert one below that's how you do it and for columns you just select any column and then you do your right click again and then insert one right or insert one left will actually insert more columns um, there's also a way to group rows and columns together um, which is this. So, for example, I will, uh, wa I want to group uh, row 12 to 16. So, I just select the whole line, the whole row, um, rows rather, dami sila, and then right click and then group. That's it. So, when you click this minus sign, it will hide that whole row. And when you click the plus sign, you will see it again. There's also conditional formatting, which we will not discuss here, but I already um, programmed it in this spreadsheet. Um, there's also data validation if you want to be more advanced, but again, I'm not going to discuss it here. Um, instead, I added a link uh, on YouTube so you can watch it on your own, and if you want, you can do it as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Better na daw ang aking, ano, ang aking electric fan. Ang aking best friend during these very hot days. Okay. So, we're done with spreadsheet basics. So, we'll go to our template. So, ito na. Excited ako kasi I really love spreadsheets and I love numbers. Um, so, I, I hope... Um, it shines through and that you also get infected by the love of numbers, um, it will really, really help you in life. So don't be afraid. Um, there are ways for you um, to be friends with numbers, and I hope this is one of the ways. So about the template one, you can tweak it according to what works for you. So if um, you're a bit more advanced in Excel or Google Sheets, kaya mo yun. you can program it the way you want it. Um, yung sa akin lang ay guide. Okay. And it is on Google Sheets. So again, you don't need edit access, just download it. Okay, so we'll, we'll go through um, the file together. That's just the summary of the file. Uh, of the file. So this is the template. Ito siya. 
So ito yung buong daily cash flow monitoring template that I was talking about. And in this template, I placed um, different tabs. So this is uh, very important kasi ito yung reminder ko na hindi nyo kailangan ng edit access. And then there's legend where you could see um, the guide on how to identify the numbers and the uh, uh, formula. And then spreadsheet basics so that you could go through this on your own and learn and practice. Um, there's daily cash planning dynamic which is where everything comes together. So in our case, in our company, we have something similar, and this is my best friend next to the electric fan. Because this one, I check every day and make sure that we are still okay as a company and we can take care of bills, of people, um, and we can also follow up on collections, ganon. So projected outflow tab, um, is basically your projected outflow. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Lahat, lahat, lahat ng mga gagastosin mo for the next few weeks and months, um, you can input it here. It's endless. As in, pwede siyang sobra, 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 sobrang haba. But as you can see here, nawawala na yung headers. So, hindi mo alam kung ano siya, di ba? So, the trick there is, you go to this first row, and then you view, um, select freeze, freeze up to current row para kahit gaano pa kalalim ang puntahan ng iyong mga ex-projected outflow, you could still see this row and what it's about. Okay? That's the projected outflow. We'll go to that later. Um, projected inflow is my favorite sheet because ito naman yung well, projected inflow mo. So, the receivables, the money that you're expecting to come to your account for the next few months. So, it's such an important, um, it's such an important sheet. So, they will start here in the projected inflow. Tama ba? No, projected outflow muna kay talaga. Okay. So, projected outflow first. Um, ganito pala makapag-usap sa sarili, no? Uh, Okay lang. Masaya na ako nandiyan kayong lahat at nakikinig. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, projected outflow po muna tayo. Um, ano ang mga projected outflow natin? Kaya siya projected kasi darating pa lang siya. At alam mong darating siya. So, kailangan ma-anticipate mo na siya. Hindi pwedeng hindi mo siya alam. Lalo na if you are a business. Uh, so, ano yun? What are the outflows of a business? So, usually there's payroll. And that's more predictable because you know exactly when you're going to give payroll, right? So for a lot of companies, doing a quince and end of the month. Tama po ba? Yes. So you have payroll and then you have rent. So it depends on kung kailan kayo nag-sign ng lease, but you usually have rent. Um, for the purposes of this exercise, I just placed payroll and rent. So I will introduce you to the column headers, which are category. So yung category is just as a guide for you to know what general category it is para hindi magulo um, kapag uh, pinag-aaralan mo na siya after. And then the details, so for example, in this case, um, this is payroll, so A2 is payroll, but the details is sales. So let's say you have a sales team, this is your payroll for the sales team. So lahat po ito ay hypothetical numbers, ibig sabihin nun, kinuha ko lang siya kung saan-saan. Hindi po siya numbers namin or ng kahit sinong tao. Um, <clears throat> I used it for the purposes of this exercise. So, for example, yung amount niya, bawat payday ay 100,000. Ginawa ko siya ganun para madali siyang i-compute. Pero Excel naman to, Google Sheets naman to, so okay lang. Let's say due date niya is May 15. So, anong date ba today? Today is May 8. So, in a few days, magbibigay ka na ulit ng pasahod. So, priority, <clears throat> this one, um, I made a data validation um, list. And again, I'm not gonna go through that kasi hindi yun yung pinakamahalagang part of this tutorial. But if you are interested to learn more about it, um, I placed the link in the spreadsheet basic so that you will know how to make data validation yourself. So, here, para siyang drop-down menu para pipiliin ko kung top priority ba siya, high priority, mid, or low. Okay? <clears throat> you have your due date, but I also placed a target date. 
Um, dahil sa mga panahong to, uh, hindi tayo sigurado sa cash flow natin, hindi tayo sigurado sa um, buhay natin in the new normal. So that's why I place target dates because things could change. So for example, your rent is June 1, your target date could be different. Pwedeng July, pwedeng makapag-negotiate um, ka ng mas matagal na payment terms with your landlord. So, yun, you could um, change. So, the target date is depending on you. And the priority also depends on you. So, as an entrepreneur or bilang um, taong nakahawak ng budget sa bahay, nasa inyo po yun kung ano yung priority ninyo. And then, this projected outflow status um, is something that you can update on a daily basis. Like, let's say, Disburse na siya. Ibig sabihin, lumabas na siya sa bangko mo. So, disburse na siyang ganyan. Kung hindi pa, at scheduled pa lang siya, ischedule mo siyang ganyan. Kung cancelled siya, hindi mo na kailangan bayaran at all, then put cancelled. But again, you update this based on what happens every day. And then, if it's disbursed, just put the date of disbursement so that you're guided kung kailan lumabas yung pera. There. So, yan ang ating projected outflow. I'm just gonna peek at this para, I'll, I'll peek at the live comments kung meron bang, uh, okay. Okay, okay pa naman kayo. Mukhang okay pa naman kayo. Okay. La, actually, check ko lang. Yes. Okay. Good afternoon din po sa inyong lahat. Yes, I will put, um, I will give the template link to Bounce Back PH so that they can share it um, in the group. Okay po, sige. Um, so, projected outflow planning, ito yung natutunan natin. Um, yeah, list down all of your projected outflow that are necessary. So, salaries, payment to suppliers, renta, at iba pa. Um, that's the first thing. And list down all, as in lahat, ng, sa abot na makakaya ng utak ninyo to list it down, list it down. Um, it will really, really help you in the future if you know what they are. Alam ko na kapag humahaba na yung listahan na yan, nanenervyos na kayo. Pero mas nakakanervyos kung hindi nyo alam. So put them down anyway and then deal with it later. Two, identify your priorities. So just to go back to um, the sheet. List down your priorities. Ito yon. So, ito yung column E. Remember, our columns are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, your column E is your priority. Ikaw ang maglalagay niyan. Okay, lakihan ko lang yan ng ganito para hindi na tayo mag-full screen dahil matagal siya. Okay, three, fill up the due dates. Okay, so due date, due date talaga to ha. Hindi ito yung target date mo. Um, You want to put the due date so that you know the worst case scenario, na ito yung kailangan mong bayaran at this time kung hindi mo siya manegotiate. So, due date is a due date. And then, uh, you sort according to due dates and priorities. So, you can do that. Um, and also, input your target dates naman. So, ano ibig sabihin ng pag-sort? So, kung napapansin nyo, may maliit na arrows dito, pababa, um, yan po ay filters. So, paano ko yan ginawa? Well, sobrang dali. So, I just selected the first, uh, these, the headers. And then, you see this funnel filter-like um, icon here. You just press it. You just press it like that. And then, it appears. So, pag nag-appear siya, ibig sabihin, um, pwede mo nang masort. Ano ibig sabihin ng sort? So, for example, gusto mo makita yung expenses mo. Um, from yung pinakamalapit na date hanggang sa pinakamalayong date. So, you just um, press this and then you do sort from A to Z. So, sorting from A to Z will result to um, the whole uh, column, the whole thing showing you kung ano yung mga malapit ng maging June. So, May 15, May 30, Hanggang yung pinakamatagal mo is August 1. So, ganyan po ang pag-sort. And you can also sort based on priority. So, you could do A to Z also. And then, you could see your top priority because I place a number 1 before top. Siya yung talagang nauuna. 
So now you can see all of your top priorities hanggang sa pinaka-low priority. Okay, so far, okay pa ba tayo? Okay, okay pa naman. So I'm just checking kung okay pa kayong lahat. Um, good afternoon din po sa inyong lahat. Sana kaya kong basahin ng bawat comment na nakikita ko. Pero ang bilis. <laughs> so, next time po. Um, after nito, babasahin ko nun siya. And I'll be answering some questions also. So, this is the projected outflow sheet tab. And then we go to projected inflow. So, again, this is a really great um, sheet. It's the projected inflow planning. So, ano ibig sabihin ito? You, um, ito naman yung mga ini-expect mo na papasok na pera sa sa'yo dahil merong may utang, tapos babayaran nila soon, at alam mo kung anong date yon So, sulat mo silang lahat. Um, this could be the most exciting sheet that you will be filling up these days. Or sometimes, it also could be very sad and um, overwhelming. Kasi marirealize mo kung gano'ng kadami yung may utang sa'yo and kung gano'ng nakatagal yung utang nila. So, for retail, for example, this could be a lot. As in, baka mapuno niya to ng hanggang row 5,000 or kung ano man yun. Um, but for others, it could be short. So for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I pre-filled some already. So ginawa ko lang siyang accounts receivable and loan. So at this time kasi, um, we probably have some receivables or yung mga may utang sa atin na babayaran sana and kung sino sila. So the category um, could just be accounts receivables or loans. Basically the general category kung saan manggagaling yung cash. And the details could be the name of the company um, or the institution or the person um, who you have receivables with. And then you put the amount, of course, and then the due date. And then may priority din siya, but not because mas low priority yung ibang may utang. Lahat sila priority. Pero you evaluate also based on, I don't know, baka based on kung gano'ng kalaki yung utang. Um, yung possibility of, sorry ha, wait lang. Ayan. Your possibility of um, getting the cash back. So, maraming, ano, maraming um, possible na uh, pwedeng um, way, ways of you categorizing your priorities. And then, likelihood is also super important kasi um, ito naman yung identification mo kung likely ba na matatanggap mo tong utang na to. Again, I placed a list here. Uh, this is data validation that you can learn on your own. I also placed a link in Spreadsheet Basics. So you could put highly likely, you could put likely, or not likely. So sadly, may mga not likely tayo, di ba? Kasi parang, ay, wala na silang business. So baka hindi na nila kaya. So we put date expected, um, which is different than the due date. Kasi sa due date, Pwedeng yun yung due date na sinabi niyang babayaran or yun yung due date na nakasulat sa cheque. Pero pwedeng iba ang date expected. Kasi nga nasa um, lockdown karamihan sa mga um, cities natin ngayon. So maraming mga adjustments talaga. So date expected is different. It could even be more delayed. Okay, so far, carry pa ba? Carry pa ba natin? Okay. So... Next. Okay, so dito na papasok ang daily cash planning dynamic natin. So we'll go back here and we'll go to the daily cash planning dynamic sheet. So, <clears throat> ano ang mga parts ng daily cash planning dynamic? So first is the row of the days, as in bawat isang araw nandyan. Um, I will scroll to the right and you will see hanggang ano siya. Hanggang December 31, pwede nyo pa yung habaan kung gusto ninyo. Okay? And then I pre-filled our inflows, which, which came from here. 
So makikita niyo dito, 'di ba? Ito yung inflows natin. And then nilipat ko siya dito sa cash planning dynamic. Ayun po siya. And yung outflow naman natin, um nilipat ko rin siya mula dito. So yung payroll sales kasi paulit-ulit lang naman yung payroll sales. So I just need like one row for that. It's also here. Okay? So now you have your inflow and your outflow categories. So this is how this whole sheet works. Um, you put your actual beginning balance, let's say starting May 1, but it doesn't have to be starting May 1. Pwedeng different day um, ito. So you put that there. And then um, naka-prefill na yung uh, formula dito of the projected ending balance. So what is that? Um, projected ending balance is the beginning balance, which in this case is W3. So that's May 1, it's here. Plus W17, which is this one. Kasi this one naman is the total of all of your inflow for the day. Minus W29, which is this one. Ito naman yun. So it adds all of your expenses for the day. Then enter. Siya yun. That's your projected ending balance. So let's say your beginning balance for May 1 is hmm, 50,000. Okay. So you can see na automatic na na-fill up yung 50,000 uh, because ang ginawa natin ay nag-formula tayo. So again, 50,000 plus all of your inflow for the day minus all of your outflow for the day is equal to your ending balance. And your ending balance for May 1 is your beginning balance for May 2. So, kaya siya equal to W4 because W4 is the cell of your projected ending balance. Okay, so far. Ay, so, um, it's time to input our categories. So, unahin na natin si outflow category. So, pin-refill ko na din siya. Remember, meron tayong payroll dito sa projected outflow natin ng May 15 and May 30. Uh, and then June 15 ulit. Um, oh, hanggang doon na muna tayo. Okay? So let us try that. Um, so itong 100 and 120, itong 100 ay payroll of your sales um, team. Let's say your production team is 120. You just copy these two cells and then paste them on your May 30. Well, in this case, you cannot because that's a Saturday. So, Friday na lang siya. Kunwari, okay? And then for your rent, you have rent due on... Ah, meron ka pa palang June 15. So, meron pa palang June 15. Sorry. O nga naman, magpasweldo pa tayo ng June 15. Okay, so, fill up din natin si June 15, which is a Monday. Okay. For the rent of the store and the office, for example, it comes due on every first of the month. So I'll just copy this and then I will paste it on July 1. I will also paste it on August 1. And again, you can do this um, for, for a long, long time. As in, Pwede yung habaan to hanggang sa pinaka-pinaka-dulo. There. Okay? For the purposes of this webinar, though, we're not gonna do that. Pipigil na muna tayo dyan. Okay? So, okay. 190,000. Okay. So, when you look at this, tingnan nyo tong row 29. Yan yung total outflow nyo for the day. So, you go to the May 15, because you're paying for payroll, your total outflow for the day is 220,000. And then, if you go to May 29, you have also 220,000. And the same for June 15. And then, dagdag mo pa si rent. Uh, let's say it comes June, nga ng June 1. So, may 80,000 ka for the store and 30,000 for the office. And then... So, yung outflow mo for that day is 110,000. Okay. So, ngayong tapos mo na, assuming yung, yung outflow category, but again, this could be a very long exercise for some of you, but do it anyway because it's very important to know. 
um, you go to your inflow. So accounts receivable company A, let's go to our inflow and look at accounts receivable company A. They owe you 200,000. They're highly likely to pay you and they're expected to pay you on May 18 instead of March 18 kasi naabutan sila ng ECQ. So you copy the 200,000, you look for May 18 here in the daily cash planning dynamic. You look for May 18 and then you paste it there. Para meron ka ng total inflow for the day. Ayun na siya. Okay? And then you do that again for the second one, which is company B, 100,000. Date expected is August 10 pa. Okay, sige nga. Lagay natin sa August 10. <clears throat> okay, August 10, company B, ito siya. So August 10. And then si company C, you could also do that. Ay, okay. So, company C is 50,000 and May 18 din siya magbabayad. So, let's see. Okay, nasa May 18 tayo. Company C. And then, loan from institution A. So, let's say, umutang ka um, kasi kailangan mo na ng um, pambili ng raw materials or whatever. Uh, and let's say, ma-approve siya, highly likely siya, and papasok siya ng May 19. So you look for May 19, which is a Tuesday, and you paste it there. Okay, so now that you have inputted all of your inflows and your outflow, and you also place your beginning cash balance, it's time to look at your favorite row, which is row 4. This is row 4. It's your projected ending balance for the day. So, ang ginawa ko dito, nag-conditional formatting ako um, para kapag positive yung number, green siya kaagad. Pero pag negative yung number, magre-red siya kaagad. Paano po gawin ang conditional formatting? Matagal po natin pag-uusapan yung iba dyan. So, I placed it also in spreadsheet basics. You just go to conditional formatting here. And then, you follow the instructions para makuha nyo kung paano. But it's important to see this visually. Um, kasi pag namumula na siya, alam mo na by that time, wala ka ng cash. So we, let's look at row 4 at kung gaano kahaba ang PC natin. <gasps> ah, pula na siya agad. Okay, so May 15 pa lang, pula na po tayo guys. Ito. So ano po ang solusyon na mamumula tayo dito pero biglang green na ulit siya after. So there are a few solutions that you can immediately do kapag nakita nyo na to. So wag nyo aantayin na mangyari to bago nyo gagawa ng paraan. Um, dapat malayong malayo pa lang alam nyo na na mangyayari siya at magagawa nyo na siya ng paraan. So that's why we have this exercise and that's why we have this um, Google Sheets because it's important for you to act ahead and act early. So for example, here, you have May 18. Um, you copy your 200,000 and you say, okay, si Company A, pwede ko bang pakiusapan na magbayad siya sa akin ng May 14? Kasi pag binayaran niya ako ng May 14 instead of May 18, Green na ako alert, ganon. So, dahil alam mo kung ano mangyayari sa cash flow mo, you also know how to act and how to decide and who to talk to. Okay? So, let's say, naku mukhang hindi pa payag. Ayaw niya. May 18 talaga siya. Ano nang ganap? So, ito pa rin yung ano mo, negative. So, baka naman pwedeng kausapin mo si company C or si loan institution A na pwedeng um, agahan yung pagbigay sa yon ng cash. So that's one way. Another way is to go down to your outflow and face this out. Ibig sabihin, pwede bang installment tayo? Pwede bang sa May 15, half muna yung pasweldo? May, 8, May 19, half ulit? So yun naman ang pwede mong gawin din um, granted na papayag yung ating mga um, team members, empleyado, uh, at kung hindi naman to empleyado, kung renta to, kung papayag yung ating mga landlord. So, mahalaga na very open tayo sa lahat so that uh, we can create solutions together. So, ganon. Ganon lang po siya ang itsura niya. So, again, monitor daily, adjust as needed, update the projected outflow and projected inflow sheets as you update everything. 
For beginning cash balance, you can put the beginning cash balance at your earmarking for operations. Ano ibig sabihin nun? So, di ba po may beginning cash balance tayong ganito, 50,000. Pwedeng 50,000 na yan ay nire-reserve mo talaga for operations. Uh, pero meron ka pang um, reserve na cash. Pwede rin yun. So, there is a space to input cash inflow from sales, if any, as a guide for operations on what to target at a minimum. Ano pong ibig sabihin yan? So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron akong row 15 na nandito sa bandang inflow category, ang tawag niya ay target inflow from sales. It is a temporary place to put your target inflow, cash inflow from sales. Para lang, um, may chance kang pataasin ng iyong cash position. Like, let's say, I, tingin mo, hindi talaga magbabayad ka agad si accounts receivable A, B, uh, A, C, and si institution A. At tingin mo, hindi mo rin mamumove itong payroll kasi sobrang halaga kailangan ng mga tao ngayon. So, ano gagawin mo? Sabihin mo na lang, ah, baka pwedeng mag-target ako ng sales inflow. Magbebenta ako ng gulay or essentials or kung ano man yung kaya kong ibenta so that I can support my organization. So, maglalagay ka ng mga hypothetical number. Paglalaroan mo lang siya talaga. So, kunwari, may ganyan, may paganyan kang effect. Pwede mong burahin yan later. Um, para lang makita mo, ito ay for you, the purposes of you seeing um, the effect of sales on your cash. So, let's say, nakaka-10,000 ka per day. Hindi, magna-negative ka pa rin. Pero negative 30,000 na lang. So, konti na lang yung kaya, kailangan mong pun, pu, uh, punan um, para maging positive ka. Para makayanan mong bayaran itong payroll mo. Okay, so we'll delete that. Okay. Um, you can also make scenarios by filling up this sheet and duplicating and renaming. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Um, for example, nakalagay ka na ng lahat ng scenarios mo until the end of the year. Pwede mo tong i-duplicate. So, duplicate, ito lang po yun. Um, para meron kang paglaruan na ibang sheet naman. Para meron kang makikita ang iba't ibang mga scenarios. Kung ano man yung mangyayari sa cash mo. So, ano example nun? So, for example... Tingin mo hindi talaga magbabayad si company. Oh, hindi. Sige. Tingin mo hindi ka makakapag-loan. Ganyan. So, duplicate it. And then, you can put um, scenario 1. Ang galing natin ng copy off para marinis. And, burahin mo si loan institution A. Para makita mo kung gano'n ka, o, oh, andyan, pula ka na agad. May 29 pa lang. So, ibig sabihin na, kung hindi pwede, kailangan mo talagang makuha si loan institution A. So, it's also a guide and parang a scenario na gusto mong makita lagi or to remind yourself. Okay? This file will change daily. Um, I-update mo to araw-araw. So, for example, sa amin, Pag merong inflow na biglang, uy, meron palang ganito, may inflow, nilalagay ko po siya dito. So, inflow from company B. May ganyan din ako. Tapos, pwede ka rin, naku, may outflow akong biglang nangyari, ilalagay mo din siya. Or, may outflow kang biglang darating, lalagay mo din siya. Um, what I also do is, for example, iba yung beginning cash balance ko sa projection, uh, I hard code it then. So, pwede ko ding sabihin, ay, ano, for some reason, may nagbayad sa akin, hindi ko mahanap kung sino. Pero ang beginning balance ko ngayong May 4 ay 80,000. So, ilalagay mo lang yung 80,000. Ganun. So, magbabago na siya lahat. Yeah. So far, buhay pa ba? Buhay pa ba tayo? Buhay pa, buhay pa. Okay. Alam nyo, medyo nakakaloka magturo ng Excel and Google Sheets ng, ano, via um, webinar. Pero sa nakikita ko naman, maraming maraming salamat at andiyan kayong lahat. Uh, Nakaka-encourage na nakakatulong kahit papano. So, maraming salamat. Um, 
May tanong? Ayun, may tanong. Pero hindi ko makita. Ayun. Okay. Pwede rin. Okay. Sige, sige. Mamaya tayo magsasagot ng mga katanungan. Matatapos na po ako. Sige. Okay. Best practices. Hope for the best. Siyempre. Um, kailangan nating ipunin ang lahat ng ating mga positive energy at um, positivity for the future. Kasi lalo na pag mga entrepreneurs tayo, inaalagaan natin yung ating mga empleyado, yung ating mga pamilya. Um, we always have to think about the possibilities. But at the same time, hindi ibig sabihin na bubulag-bulagan tayo sa mangyayari, um, sa pwedeng mangyaring masama in the future. So we still have to plan for the worst. Uh, project and plan your cash flow with a one-month view or more. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Pag bumalik ka sa iyong cash flow monitoring, dapat isang buwan yung nakikita mo. Mas maganda kung hanggang December yung kaya mo. So, I think, I think kaya nyo yan. Okay? Hanggang December. Hi. Evaluate your most liquid assets. Ano ibig sabihin ng liquid assets? Yung mga asset uh, or yung mga ari-arian mo na pinakamadaling gawing cash. So, plan to liquidate them as soon as possible. So, kung inventaryo ito, subukang ibenta. Um, kung mga utang to sa inyo, subukang maningin. Um, another, since we're here, and I always try to tell this to everybody um, that I know, prioritize um, people first po sana and everything else follows. Kasi kahit na this session is about cash flow planning. Um, the spirit behind cash flow planning is to really support people pa rin. Um, it is not just money for money's sake. Um, para din po ito sa ating mga empleyado, sa ating mga pamilya na nangangailangan. So people first. Um, hanggang maaari, uh, supportahan natin yung ating mga manggagawa, yung ating mga empleyado. Um, and then, of course, try not to die as a company, um, kasi po, pag, suma, pag nagsara na kayo, mahirap na. Uh, maraming umaasa sa isang kumpanya. Maraming umaasa. Kahit isa kang maliit na entrepreneur, may mga umaasa sa inyo. So, really try not to die as a company. And that is why, um, look at your cash flow and really plan ahead. And second to the last is try to be as digital as possible. So, ito po, Hirap din kami dito sa umpisa at kahit medyo hanggang ngayon, um, may mga bangko kasi kami na hindi pa naka-online. So, ang hirap makita nung beginning balance mo kung kailangan mo magpa-update ng passbook sa bangko na um, minsan magbubukas. So, kailangan digital as possible. Be as digital as possible. Huwag matakot sa technology. And last, in cash flow management and planning, timing po is very, very crucial. And that's why when I go back to um, our Google Sheets, makikita ninyo na talagang arawan po siya. Arawan siya kasi you can change the um, timing of your inflow and change the timing of your, of your outflow. And that will spell the difference to whether you live or not. Na, mahalaga yun, ha? Kasi minsan pag talagang naubusan ka ng cash, hindi ka makakapag-operate. So, as much as possible, time everything well. So, kagaya nitong example ko kanina, kung inagahan lang nitong si receivables A, kung kaya mo siyang i-convince na agahan yung bayad sa'yo, hindi ka magkakaroon ng negative. Okay? Kaya mong bayaran ang iyong payroll. So, yun. And last but not the least, again, make it a habit. Monitor daily, beginning po of the day and end of the day ang monitoring. Ginagawa ko po ito. Um, Masaya naman din po ako, may mga ginagawa rin akong fun, nanonood din ako ng TV, ganyan. Pero, hindi ko po kinakalimutan na napaka-importante um, na panuorin din ang cash flow at i-project ng hanggang sa malayong makakaya mo so that you can um, you can plan for the future. And yes po, sa lahat na nagtatanong um, na kung pwede bang mag-request ng link, definitely we will send that to our friends from um, bounce back page. Eh, okay, may tanong po ba? Woo, okay. <laughs> Maraming salamat din po sa inyong lahat. And I hope it's practical enough kasi 
um, mas mahalaga po na naiintindihan ninyo at kaya ninyong gamitin kaysa sa marami lang kayong big words na alam. Di ba? Yay! Hello. Hi, Riz. Sorry. Thank you for... Nakamute ka? Ay, hindi na. Hindi, hindi na ako nakamute. Oh, okay. I'll let you guys. Okay. Oh, Ayan. Nidikit na yung buhok ko. Riz. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for doing this uh, spreadsheet for Bounce Back uh, PH. I think okay. meron lang ako nakita ng isang tanong dito but yes. from Levi Soriano. Yes, how po. can we manage our, how can we manage our cash if there are more expenses rather than the cash inflow? Yes, nako mahirap po 'yan. So, I won't go into the business fundamentals na masyado, no. Pero in general, kung mas marami kang expenses kaysa sa benta mo, um, and nangyayari to ever since, kahit before the pandemic, uh, may problema po sa ating business model. Pero um, pagdating po sa cash, kung mas maraming lumalabas na outflow kaysa sa inflow, normal po talaga yan. Kahit kumikita ka, um, again, profitability is not equal to cash flow, di ba? So, kahit kumikita ka, um, pero mas marami kang expenses, mahirap yon. Lalo na ngayong pandemic time, I think mas marami ka talagang expenses. So I think the key there is to phase out your expenses. Hindi phase out na tatanggalin mo silang lahat, ha? pero uh, isi-schedule mo ng maayos para mas stretch mo sila ng sobrang haba. So there are different ways to do that and it depends on your priorities. Um, if it's people, uh, as much as possible, subukan natin supportahan talaga yung mga tao natin Um, pero naiintindihan ko na hindi lahat kayang gawin yun. So, dun sa mga hindi kayang gawin yun, uh, baka sakaling meron lang tayong pwedeng i-divide kahit sa pano. So, in that way, okay, matatanggal natin yung ibang expenses. Um, for rent, for example, there are some landlords that are giving um, payment terms now na better. So, sabihin mo, pwede bang be, um, bayaran ko itong rent kanto over the next two years? <laughs> um, just ask, really. Kasi if you don't ask, you'll never know. Ngayon, Um, what's the worst that can happen? They can tell you no. Um, eh, hindi mo na kayang bayaran. Hindi mo gagawin mo. So, kailangan mong um, to really negotiate. Um, but at the same time, they can also say yes. But you will never know until you try. So, yun. Kailangan lang schedule lang expenses. Yes. And of, of course, we need to increase our inflow. So, yes. sa... sa sa bounce back, makakatulong tayo by uh, maybe pwede kayong kumuha ng sideline or you can, uh, for example, repurpose ang tawag natin. So yung other skills mo pwede mong gawing uh, um, negos, ibang negosyo. So pag ito ang ginagawa mo, pag meron kang let's say skills sa computer or ano, pwede ka mag-learn ng bagong trade or bagong, bagong uh, skill so that you can bring in more inflows sa cash. At, at makikita natin sa Excel yun, Norris, na yes. kailangan mo talaga mag-bring in ng cash. Yes, oo. So isa pa yun, oh, very, thank you so much for bringing that up. Yes. So just find ways to get cash into. Um, pwedeng, minsan kasi baka natali na tayo sa business idea natin, na feeling natin, that's the only way that we can get cash. But that's right, no? there are other skills that you can learn and that you can contribute and that could be your cash inflow. Okay. Well, uh, we've run out of time. It's four o'clock. Uh, but uh, Rhys, thank you for I know we, we have people here from all over the country and uh, you know, the, the, comments, <laughs> the, the, 
comments are just coming so fast eh. So, oh. medyo mahirap lang yung intro. <laughs> Totoo. I thought okay, I could but... do a shout out, pero baka yun na lang yung ginawa ko the whole, ano, the oh. whole, the whole <laughs> webinar. So, everyone, would you like to give thanks to our uh, speaker today by, you know, sending an icon lang, clap, heart, or whatever icon you wanna put. Yay. Okay. So, Reese, thank you so much. So, Reese, thank you so much. Good luck ulit sa lahat ng cash flow ninyo. I'll share with you, Jason, my link chat so that everybody can use it. Okay, thank you. So everyone, please keep participating in the Bounce Box seminars. Invite your people in. And hopefully, Riz can do another session with us in the future. Definitely. Thank you so much. Rags to Riches. Can you say a little bit more about Rags to Riches for everyone? Sure. So Rags to Riches po, um, that's the company that uh, I'm leading right now together with our team and our clients. Um, ito po ay isang negosyo na gumagawa na mga sa mga sa mga home accessories that we have to go to also making um, mas na, mas na, para meron ding um, livelihood pa rin ng ating mga kasama. So yun, nakapag-pivot, uh, nagkakaroon pa rin ng inflow kahit pa paano. So yun, mahalagang gawin. Um, but yes, hope you can follow our social media. Uh, we we can also share it in bounce back. Okay, great. Thank you, Reese, and uh, everybody. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.